the Sardinian capital. It's an outdoor arena, and Magri had some heavyweight support. Reg Guttridge was at ringside. There's Charlie Magri's mind coming into the ring. Big Frank Bruno has gone down well here. And with a name like Bruno, they said, well, he's probably Italian. There he is. It's the long and short of it, as they say, with Magri and Big, Big Frank, but they really are good mates. So while the fireworks are cracking away there, and these young boxers really fidgeting and want to get on with the business, and the referee just making sure that uh, they're tying the gloves correctly. Well, we've heard of boxing in balmy breezes, but here in Cagliari, we're at the end of a jetty, and there's just a light wind blowing. For Charlie Magris, what to him is really a vital comeback then. At 28, with 11 months out of action, lost his world title, he defended the European Championship four times before he vacated it, and now he's back in action again. And there's our first look, in fact, at Franco Kirky in his first challenge for a European Championship. So eyes fixed very firmly on the opponent there. There's, there's a great deal of self-assurance about young Charlie Magri at 28. Not so young in boxing terms. So the southpaw said to be a snappy mover, Cherokee. And he'll need to be, because although I'm sometimes doubtful about comebacks, uh, I must say, it's only 11 months out of action, uh, Magri, but I must say that he, he certainly looks very self-assured, and if you could use the term grown up overnight, and he uh, seemed to approve to his manager and his trainers that uh, he's more very serious and certainly very fit. Well, we'll find out, because he may have to chase a few shadows with this fellow. Any reservations I have about Cherokee is that I'm not sure he's a full-blooded flyweight. He's, he's actually been up into the bantamweight division and weighed 8-7 for one fight and 8-4 for another. And both of them have come in at 7 stone 13 for this one. And I really can't believe that the Italian could stand up to the old Charlie Magri punching. As they say in boxing, the last thing you lose in this game is your punch. And remember the Charlie has been in all the world title stuff and the European title stuff and it's the first time for the Sardinian. Local really in every sense but in fact he's lived in Milan for many years and he's very popular there. And uh, Magri they say well he's got an Italian name he'll get some support here and he's got a whole horde of East End supporters as well. And the fireworks in the background are still banging away with covered with water in this position it's incredible. That was only considered a slap there, but certainly the crowd rose to it, so you know which way they're going. And hopefully the fireworks will fade away. He's a good sharp boxer. Remember, anybody who's unbeaten has to be respected, no matter what the quality of his opposition. He only fought two Britons, John Dory and Dave George, and outpointed both of them. It looks as though they're saying, can we wait until these fireworks are finished? It's giving us all a headache. A little bit of apologetic stuff, but I think this armistice will be short-lived. He's got off to a good start, the Italian, really. He doesn't look, he's certainly not a puncher, but I think the speed of his punch has uh, surprised Charlie Magri in the opening round. And he's got to try and correct that Magri with some good sharp hitting now. And just stamp a little bit of authority on the fight. Well, there's a warning now, keep the punches up to Magri, and he's got to watch that with this Swiss referee. He disqualified Clinton McKenzie in the European Championship in London. What's happened? His eyes already cut there, the Italian, and he's being led to the corner in the opening round. The doctor's got to come up. This will be really... Tremendous thing, obviously, for Magri, but he, even he wouldn't want it to end as quickly as this. And I doubt whether it will. From my view, it didn't look so good, but my view doesn't count. It's up to the doctor. And I've got a feeling that this is all over before it started. And there's an argument in the corner, and things are being thrown in the ring. And the beer's coming in, almost struck Terry Lawless there. They don't know that the Italian has been cut. 
I didn't see any head clashes at all. It could not have been an accident. It must have come with sponges. And I'm getting raining at the ringside with beer cans, or at least cartons coming down. In this opening round, and Nagri ducking out of the way and saying, we can't go on with this. And the Italian hasn't left the corner yet. He's buried in the corner. What a disappointment. I don't remember such a quick European championship as this one. The referee there, Franz Marty from Switzerland, obviously had no option but to ask the referee to examine the injury. And they, they've obviously said, no, it's too severe to go on. And we haven't really had a good look at it. And in a strange way, I don't even think that Charlie uh, saw it coming. Charlie, from outside the ring, it was difficult to spot what happened there. We tried to throw a left hand at me, and he came in forward, and he butted me, and he done it to himself. Honestly, I did not touch him. But I was catching him with a jab and that, and um, he had butted me, honestly. What's it, the replay? It was just an accidental it was an head accidental head head I, I missed that, I, I must didn't realise it was an accidental. So in the, in the replay now, where Magri is saying he didn't see it happen, and that... Cherokee came in at him and he said he did it himself but it's very hard to get picture clearance and evidence on this I certainly didn't spot it from just outside the ring here you see at that point as the referee shielded the picture as he went past but uh, there seems to be some blood around Cherokee's right eye at that point it's along the eyebrow but what we do know is that European Boxing Union and the Boxing Board of Control have ordered a rematch well, Charlie, you've had a few minutes now after that furor that went at the end of the fight. You're champion again, but a bit unsatisfactory. I'm really happy to be champion again, Reg, but the only thing was I didn't want it to go that way, you know, and I think it was more his fault than mine, because he came to me. The referee seems to agree with that. It was an accident. He sort of bounced off the ropes, didn't he? It's most unfortunate. Well, if you do ever watch a replay of it, um, he bounced off the ropes and, and he sort of uh, apologised to me. He sort of apologised. You know, so I apologised back to him, and then all of a sudden he started acting with his eye. Yeah, at first I thought he was complaining about the noise of fireworks. I really did. Did you think, or was he definitely the eye right no, away? No, it was definitely the eye. I saw it. I saw it. I was right close to him. You know, he, he, he sort of come to me, and I obviously tried to bob and weave from the punches, and um, it, we both clashed. And it, it was definitely the, um, he was reacting from the eye. I didn't know about the fireworks. Didn't say well, the European Boxing Union uh, manager, Terry Lawless, and the Boxing Board say they'll have to order a rematch under those circumstances. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I think that's fair. I think uh, I think the rule's wrong. I think it, that there should have been a draw at the end of a just the end of the first round. I don't think a decision should have been made. Yeah, they do that in America, but yeah. not under EBU. No, but I think it should be in now. I think it's about time. All right, Charlie, it. finally now, does you think this is a chance for you to get back in the world top ten? You're already in that, but I meant into world championship. Well, the only thing was I don't like to sort of come back with a win like that, you know, but um, I was quite capable of coming over here, fighting him in front of his own people, and um, I'd even do it again. OK, well, let's hope it's a longer fight next time. Thanks, Thanks Charlie Magri Thanks, and sir. Terry Lawley. Thanks, Yes, well, at least Charlie Magri has got uh, that title back. It looks like he's going to have to go over there once again. Well, on next week's uh, World of Sport... We're